everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Sophie and I would love it if you click that big red subscribe button down below. I talk about language learning a lot, I make travel videos when I am actually traveling and I also talk about uni life a lot so if you like any of those types of videos then definitely make sure to click that big red subscribe button down below and turn on that notification bell as well so that you never miss a video. I do try to upload every Sunday, not going to lie, you'll probably notice when you look at my like most recent videos that I haven't been successful at doing that recently, but I have been very busy with university and lots of other stuff. Sometimes life just gets in the way, so we'll move past that, but I do try. Um, but yeah, recently I've had quite a few messages on my Instagram asking me about Bangor University. Um, so I thought I'd just make a video, a vlog um, of a few days of my life. I would do a week in my life, but it is a Thursday today that I have decided to make this video. So we're gonna have like a few days in my life at Bangor University. Um, yeah, it's currently a Thursday morning. It's very, it's not very early, it's early for me. It's not very early. It's 8.24, I have a lecture at nine. I should probably hurry up, finish drinking this tea and go clean my teeth and do my like facial routine so I can get um, myself to that class in time. Uh, it's French conversation, um, so it's definitely a very useful class that I do not want to miss, to be honest. Though I don't want to miss any of my classes because, yeah, they're all useful, but the <laughs> conversation um, is probably one that I enjoy the most and is good because I feel like the best way I learn a language, the way is through speaking and we only get one hour of conversation per week so for each language so obviously do not want to miss that mm. and yeah if you're wondering where my nose piercing went that i mentioned in the last video don't get your nose pierced it's super jug it doesn't have anything holding in place it fell out a week later and it's all, like it already closed up by the time that i tried to put it back in and i'm gonna get a re-pierce but I have to wait for it to properly heal before somebody will repairs it for me, even though it's closed up, um, but there's a lump, so, yep. Um, anyway, gonna go get ready for French because I haven't even cleaned my teeth yet, well, I mean, I am still drinking my cup of tea, uh, but yeah, see you soon. <laughs> So when I came home from lectures, I was pretty hungry, so I immediately started making ramen, but it was around 12 p.m. as, yeah, I forgot to mention I had an hour break and then another lecture. I think I forgot to mention that anyway. But yeah, I added some veggies to it, um, which I'm chopping up here, and also a fried egg, which broke, and I'm really sad about that, but it still all tasted really, really nice. So here I was just attending a Spanish translation class online. Usually all of my classes are on campus, in person. However, on this occasion, this one class did need to be online. Um, usually there's classes in person, but yeah, it was just a one-time thing. Um, this class was quite late at like 4 p.m. I did actually do work between making and eating ramen and attending this class but I forgot to film the work and I can't, well I forgot to film me doing the work and I can't remember what I did now maybe it was just chores I don't know but I know I did something but I just do so much I have so much on all the time um that I just forget what I've done on each specific day and I don't get around to editing my videos until quite a few days after after filming them usually so yeah apologies about that but I I do a lot of studying in my free time so after that class I immediately started working on the homework that we were given which wasn't actually due in until the following week but we had started to look at the translation that we needed to do for homework in class and looking at specifically the more difficult parts to translate so i thought oh why all of these difficult parts to translate are in my head like that on my mind it's fresh i may as well do this task and um, as i'd completed all my homework that was due in for um that week anyway so i may as well have started on um, the homework for the following week 
So then in the evening, I read the last few chapters of the Spanish book that I was reading for my Spanish book review presentation, which is in January. Again, sounds like I'm starting early, but I have to do one of these book and film review presentations for each of my languages. So yeah, I needed to make a start early so that I don't fall behind. <laughs> everyone it is now friday it is currently like 20 to 11 which is bad considering i got up at half past day literally it feels like it's taking me the entire morning just to one get ready have breakfast and take out all of the bins um but to be fair i couldn't carry all of the bins by myself so i had to make a few trips Oh, the whistling is maintenance. I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, last night was eventful. My friend's bathroom door got stuck, so she can't get into her bathroom. So maintenance are here to fix that. Probably shouldn't be filming this right now due to that noise. But I know if I don't film this right now, I'll go to lectures and bloody bloody blah, I'll start doing work, get on with my day, and then I would have forgot to kind of film an intro to this day. So I'm just hoping you can't hear much of the background noise, but I know if I can hear them, that means my microphone will pick up these noises. So you probably can, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, other than that, last night I did watch an interesting documentary on Guatemala in Spanish to practice my Spanish whilst I ate half a tub of Ben and Jerry's. So it was a good evening, other than, well, for me, not so much of a good evening for my flatmate who couldn't get into her bathroom. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, yeah. It took me a long time to get ready this morning, even though I didn't do that much, but to be fair, it's more breakfast that takes me time because I take my time over my cup of tea in the morning and I have to have my cup of tea in the morning. If I don't have a cup of tea in the morning, then I just, I just don't feel awake and I, <laughs> I told you it might be noisy, <laughs> ignore the banning. Yeah, I just don't feel awake and then I'm not ready for lectures. Um, but yeah, I've got a lecture that starts at 12. Um, so it's a Spanish conversation class. So I'm going to be going to that later. That's the only lecture I have today that I do. Um, I have another job that I do um, in the evening. It's not like a proper job. It's just like a thing with the university, some scheme. And I get a bursary for it at the end of the year. Um, so it's not like a job. It's not paid. But well it is paid but it's not like a yearly wage or an hourly wage you know what I mean you get a bursary um, <laughs> you know what it's time for me to end this clip here and just get on with what I have planned this for, for this morning and I think just put a voiceover over the top that's probably best <laughs> So here I was just typing up some notes on the Spanish book that I had finished reading the previous night just so that when I do come to preparing my presentation closer to the time of the exam um, I can easily like remind myself of all of the the main points that happen in the book and the main themes and I also did a bit of research on the author as well but yeah I didn't go into like too much detail but yeah I tried to do that and tried to not get distracted by the banning it wasn't too bad they didn't take very long to fix my flatmate's door to be fair and at least maintenance came and sorted it out quickly Good evening everyone, I haven't really filmed much of what I got up to today, um, literally the only clip you will have seen was me writing up some notes on a book I read and that I will later in the, well not even later in the year, that early next year be given a presentation on, um, which is like an exam, so yeah, wanted to write up notes now having just read the book, just like getting all the like, you know, just the basics, the plot down, the characters, who is who, just the basics. So when I come to actually planning the presentation, at least the basics there, and a bit of information on the author as well. Um, but yeah, um, I obviously I had a lecture, was interesting, was an interesting lecture actually, um, was talking about different like 
uh, movimientos políticos, so like political movements um, in Latin America, so that was interesting. And then had this, that, that job thing I told you about. I had to like rush home and have lunch before that, um, it was like a mentoring thing, so yeah, and then what did I do after that? Oh, just random bits like calling my parents and random small things that I needed to get done that weren't even worth like mentioning and then revise some Spanish vocab and I'm about to go out um, because at my university we have a language is society which I'm actually the social sec criteria for um, so I do a lot of work like organising events for that and obviously turn up to a lot of the events as well and we have a tandem event um, where we practice our languages we have people come along who are like international students and then we have like us just people who are trying to learn another language and we just kind of communicate in a mixture of English and other languages and enjoy some cake some good cake so obviously I'm gonna go and yeah enjoy some really good cake and hopefully talk to my German buddy a bit and some other people as well and yeah, um, I'm not gonna film there um, for obvious reasons because there's gonna be so many people. I thought like I would have to get permission off of, off of every single person. The same with lectures. I think I'd have to give permission and like sign forms and stuff. There's just just no. Um, I might film my cake though, but if I do, I'm gonna film it on my phone because I'm not gonna take my camera with me. So apologies if the the quality is bad, but you know sometimes. I think stuff comes out on my phone better, especially when it's dark, because I don't have to fiddle around trying to figure out how to film in dark settings. My phone just has the night setting, it's just there. Um, although I should probably learn how to film in dark settings, I should probably watch a YouTube tutorial on that. But I think I've already decided that once I get a decent job, I'm investing in a new camera, so... But that's going to be a while yet, to be honest, let's be real. Um, <laughs> I've got to finish my degree first. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go to that and I'll speak to you all either later this evening or tomorrow morning. Hasta luego. Is that? Yeah. Hasta pronto. Oh my god. <laughs> my Spanish is so bad. <laughs> So later on in the evening I started reading a German book which I am reading for my German book review presentation which is also in January. This book is a little bit longer than the Spanish book that I read and I know I'm quite a slow reader and because often I get busy with uni life I can go a while without reading any chapters so I'm trying to be a lot stricter with this one and make sure that I read it regularly because otherwise if it gets close to Christmas and I haven't finished reading the book I know I will get stressed and I just don't want to get stressed. Now I'm not going to lie to you, I did not feel much at all on Saturday and here in this clip I know that I'm revising vocabulary on Anki and that's only because I can see that visibly in the video but I'm not sure which language I was revising vocabulary for um, because I can't really tell, it's just blurry so I can't read any of the words. Um, so yeah, I did that. Um, I also did some more work on Saturday. Not sure what exactly. Um, then this, yeah, I'm sorry. It's my fault for editing videos way too late. <laughs> so on the Sunday morning, I headed out for a really lovely walk. I went to a part of Bangor Beach which I had never been to before, which is crazy because I've walked past the path that leads down to this part of the beach so many times before on my way to the pier, but I had just never thought of seeing what was down there until this very day. And then of course, I went to the pier as that's where I was planning to go originally. You can just never get tired of Bangor Pier. I mean, look how beautiful it is. There are 
everyone, here I am filming the outro almost a week later again. I really need to stop doing that. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry if it wasn't the most useful, like, I mean, maybe it would have been more useful if I actually took you into uni and stuff, but like, yeah, I can. I don't think I could really do that. And I'm not sure if I would feel comfortable doing that either. Um, but yeah, I will make another vlog at some point where I show you an entire week of my life. Um, maybe I'll make like a study, food, study with me vlog at some point as well. Just so hopefully, you know, if that helps any of you really struggle to form a correct English sentence said and I, um, but yeah, that's it from me. Um, if you enjoyed this video, do please give it a big thumbs up. Um, comment down below uh, if you go to university if you're looking to go to university if you're about to start university what you're studying blah blah blah, blah, blah. yeah i don't know why i said blah blah blah, blah. i meant etc and yeah i'll see you all in the next video bye I just